All right, so I'm gonna be adding, uh, I cut up three serrano peppers, one green pepper, two poblano. Uh, I might cut up a third because I only have one left. I figure I might as well use it up, but they're going in the pot. Um, I was always taught to cook the vegetables first, then the meat, so that's where we're going. Try to de-seed it as much as possible. If you want to leave the seeds in, you're more than welcome. They're going to add some heat, especially if you get a hot one. Um, the serrano peppers are a little bit hotter than jalapenos. Um, and the way that you tell a jalapeno is hot is by the score marks on it or the wrinkles on it. The little white beige scoring on it. The more it has, the hotter it is. The serrano peppers, the smaller it is, the hotter it is typically. Um, and I'm going to let this heat up here for a little while and cook all this goodness up a little bit. And while that's going on, I'm going to cut up the habanero. Get that going as well. That's going to add the real heat. Um, and I'm only going to use one. If you're feeling froggy, you can do more than one. And mine is fairly large. That's about the size of it. So I'm going to wash it off and cut it up. The habaneros I didn't think were very hot. I had a whole one yesterday to try it, to see the heat. You know, they're gonna range. Some are gonna be hotter than others. But uh, and we're just gonna go with just one in here. And uh, there it goes. I left the seeds in it, but I didn't try and pick them all up. All right, so I've got sirloin I'm gonna be putting in here. I'll let that cook for about 15, 20 minutes just to uh, get it a little bit broken down, you know, a little bit softer. I get the meat in there, let that cook for until the meat's brown. And uh, we'll take it from there. Don't throw the plastic in there. I picked this up one day. I was fairly cheap too. It was like four bucks or something. I said, well, you know, I never really had one of those, but I'll tell you what, it's came in handy since I picked it up. I happen to use Mexicorn, which is a combination of Mex uh, corn with peppers and, you know, other little, I think it's corn peppers. Green and red bell peppers. So that adds into the, the flavoring, you know. Again, that's the sweetness side of the chili. You like to have some sweetness to counteract the heat. Get you a couple different flavor profiles going on. Lord knows we got enough different peppers in there, right? All right, so uh, we're done browning the meat and it's uh, been cooking a little while here. I'm going to put in the tomatoes and the beans. Uh, I got two cans of chili beans that I, I'm gonna rinse, uh, but I'm gonna get these tomatoes in there. I've got what would be two big cans of petite diced tomatoes. I'm using Cento. And I have a third just in case because remember the packet of meat is two and a quarter pounds. So I might need that. Probably done. Um, let's stir this up. Get this going. After this heats for a little bit, I'm going to throw the spicing in. Add the corn. I'm going to drain this. I'm not going to just add the whole thing. So if there's any water in here, we're going to get rid of that. So that's good. This is a can of Mex corn. It doesn't matter, you can just use regular yellow corn. Again, a little bit of sweetness just to add it into the mix. of the beans ready to go because I just got done washing them. And we'll add that in there. And there's the beans. They come with a little bit of flavoring on them. So I try and get the majority of it off of there. Stir that up. Now we'll set our spices in there. I already have measured out, pre-measured. Like I said, this is two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon each of paprika, chili, and cumin. 
And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. I will get a picture on my camera of my phone. And we're gonna let that cook. I'm going to say two and a half hours. We want it to really cook well. We want to get those peppers nice and soft. We want everything to blend well together. And we're gonna have a bang and chili when we're done. All right, so over the course of the cooking, I did add another teaspoon of cumin and another teaspoon of the chili powder. So I got the bowl here. It's time to try this stuff and uh, actually see how good it is, if it is any good. Looks wonderful. I don't know if you can see that, the pieces, the chunks, the, the goodness of the chili. And uh, we'll see what it's all about. Looks wonderful. It's got a good consistency for chili. And let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. It is way better than out of the packet. Um, I'm not going to add any more heat to it. Heat builds, you know, so it might get a little hotter. Um, I can always add cayenne in it. Take a peek in here. Looks beautiful. Wonderful chili recipe. Lots of flavor. Just so good. So that's the recipe. Recipe came out very well. Um, it's just got, it's so full of flavor compared to like, you know, just adding a packet to your ground beef and tomatoes. Um, it, adding the real peppers, that's the real deal. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you get a chance to try the recipe. Um, if you ever make it, make your, if your chili ever comes out too hot because, I don't know, you got a hot batch of serranos or maybe you didn't use the serranos, you used jalapenos. Jalapenos are a little bit less spicy than the serranos. Um, so if you ever get them a little bit too hot, just start with a teaspoon of sugar, dump it in there, mix it up, see how the heat comes out. Maybe you might want to go two, three um, teaspoons of sugar. And then if it's still a problem before you make it too sweet, uh, you can start thinking about maybe adding a, a tablespoon of butter um, to it or some olive oil. That'll help it because um, the capsation, um, it uh, blends with the oils. So uh, that's going to make it come down a little bit in heat. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right? See you guys.